Hi, my name is Ryan Navarro and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. In this video I wanted to show you a new feature in SOLIDWORKS 2015 that's an enhancement to the existing delete body command. It's been expanded to allow you to either delete or keep bodies. Now one area I think this will be useful is for surfaced parts or any parts that have reference surface geometry. So here you can see we have a, a piece we've been working on that has a, a solid body as the end result but it also has some construction surfaces that are lingering here and if you want to get rid of those to you know prevent confusion from anyone who's going to be working on this design down the line then we historically would have had to select all these surfaces and here we only have four but you can imagine on a more complex part we might have hundreds we'd have to select all of those and do a delete body command um, and now what I can do is I can select in 2015 just the body that I want to keep so my solid body here and I choose my delete body command and then I have the option to specify to keep only certain bodies rather than delete them. So I can select my body that I want to keep there and it will automatically remove the other surfaces for me. Okay, now we used to be able to accomplish the same thing um, essentially by using something like a selection filter. So I can use my selection filter toolbar here. Filter by bodies that I want to keep and then I could right click to invert my selection Okay, and then delete the other bodies. Um, but that you know that requires some knowledge of selection filters and the other downside of that method is if I added any additional surfaces then then I would have to go back in edit my delete body feature and include those additional surfaces okay whereas this method whatever surface bodies or other features I add other bodies I add before my keep body command they'll be excluded automatically um, so let's go ahead and add an additional surface here I'll just add an offset surface of one of these Okay, and now you should see, once I roll back down below my keep body command here and do a rebuild, it's going to automatically remove that surface as well. Okay, so it's parametric, it's going to always keep only the body that we've selected there. So another area where this is going to be useful besides surface modeling, removing extra surfaces and things like that, is if you ever have to work with any imported assemblies or imported multi-body parts. So this is an example of a SOLIDWORKS assembly that was saved down to a part level and it's got about 128, 129 imported solid bodies. Okay, so now to work with these can be a little bit of a hassle. Previously, um, and maybe what I want to do here is set up some different configurations that will show just different areas of my design. So I'll go to my configuration manager here and I'll add a configuration that says housing only. So again, before we would have had to do some things with our selection filters to accomplish this, but now I can just use my delete body command, choose to keep bodies, and just choose the couple of pieces of my housing there. And then SOLIDWORKS will automatically delete the other 125 or so solid bodies that make up this assembly. So now I've got a basically a keep body command inserted at the bottom of my tree here. And I can now switch back to my default configuration. And I can add additional configurations that detail out other areas. So maybe I'll make one that shows just the gears and shafts of this gearbox here. Okay, and then I may need to hide some of these components to be able to see. And we'll once again invoke that keep body command. And I'll just choose the bodies that I want to be keeping. And we can very quickly create these alternate configurations and make these large uh, imported multi-body parts or assemblies a little more manageable for us to be able to quickly resolve all these different components um, and delete or show them without having to actually group them all together um, and manage them. We'll just manage them by using these different keep body commands. So this will also be useful for people who are doing things like analysis who want to be focusing in on just a couple of components to set up a simulation um, or any time that you might want to be maybe exporting a single component out from um, all these other ones, it'll be really easy for you to zone in there and focus in on what you need using the keep body command. So I hope that you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.